Hi, everyone. We are going to create a Power Automate Cloudflow that will summarize a Microsoft Teams post into one sentence and store that summary in Excel. This flow will run anytime someone posts in a specific channel in Teams. So it's going to be an automated cloud flow. And we're just going to call it summarize teams post. And our trigger when a new channel message is added. And we'll create. Now we need to set up our parameters. So we select our theme ID and our channel ID. Once that's been set up, we're going to add a new action and this is going to be an HTML to text action. And that's because what this trigger is returning is HTML, the output. So we wanna convert that HTML to text because we're going to pass that text into our next action. HTML to text. And then here in the content field, we use the dynamic content of the uh, message of the trigger. So that's going to be the body message body content. Now we can add our next action. This is going to be an AI builder action. The AI builder actions are always right at the top. So if we click that, we can see the list of all of the AI builder actions that are available. And the one that we want in this case is create text with GPT using a prompt. Now, if you already have a prompt created, you'll see that in the drop down menu here. So you have um, all of the ones you've created there will show up in the list, as well as these AI reply, AI classify ones, which are the pre-built ones um, that Microsoft has. In this example, I'm going to create a new custom prompt. And we're just gonna call this summarize post. Once we've given it a name, We'll also need to add an input. So we click on input here and we do add input and then we give the input a name and the name of the input is just going to be text. Now we need to use some sample data. So for the sample data, what we'll do is we'll go over to Microsoft Teams and we'll grab a sample post that we're working with. So in my example, we have a post in my, we have a channel in my company where people can post questions to a specific team. And so what we're wanting to do is do a value extraction of those posts and kind of be able to um, review them and see what kind of information we can extract to update our frequently asked questions. So where I'm, what I'm grabbing for the sample data is a post, a recent post from that chat. So I'm going to hop over to Teams and grab that. So here's my sample data. I'm going to paste it right in here. And so we've got, you know, about four sentences in, in this. And now we're going to write our prompt. And our prompt is just going to be very straightforward. We're just going to put, create a one sentence summary of the issue raised in this text. And for the text, this is where we use insert and we select from our inputs here. And now we can test our prompt and let's see what it gives us. So this is where you'll wanna kind of review, see what the GPT gives you. So the customer Fox Hollow is unable to attend the available courses due to inconvenient time zones and location and, and is requesting additional courses that are suitable for their time zone. That's perfect. That's a perfect summary based on what I provided for it. So, um, so we're going to go ahead and save this prompt. 
once we've saved it, will be a bit, it will be available for us to select in future flows as well. And now we need to put in the input text field. So that's going to be the dynamic content of our HTML to text output. So we're going to select that. Now that we have our AI builder summarizing the message when it comes in, the next thing that we'll do is set up our add a row into a table action. And this is an Excel online business connector. And of course, before we can proceed further, if you haven't already, I need to actually create a file with the table in SharePoint. So I'm actually going to do that next. So I've created this test file here in SharePoint and I need to add a table. So I'm going to click format as table and then do this. And then my table has headers, even though it doesn't yet, but I'm going to put some headers in here. So I'm going to put a eight column and then I'm going to have a, um, a column for posted by and then summary. And that's it for now. So basically this is going to update with the date of the post and the name of the poster and then the summary that we are having GPT summarize for us. So once you've done that, once you've created your file and added your table, then you'll want to go and select that file. So let's do that. Once you've selected your file, you'll need to select your table. Once you've done that, then you'll be able to see the advanced parameters. You can click show all and it will show you your table columns. So we have the date posted by in summary. So for dates, for that, we're just going to do an expression. So UTC now, just to give us the um, current date. And then posted by, that's going to be dynamic content from our trigger. And so for that, we're looking for the user display name, message from user display name, and then the summary. And the summary is the dynamic content, the text, generated text from our create text with GPT using a prompt. So now we have all of that filled in and that's going to take care of putting that data into the table. So now we're ready to test. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Now you get the message anytime you're using an AI builder action that your action doesn't have a content approval action after it. But in this case, all we're doing is using the GPT to summarize a post. It's not anything that's going to be used to send to a customer or anything like that. It's literally just an internal thing. And it helps us to reduce some manual lift for when we're reviewing posts. So I have teams pulled up here and I'm going to create a post. I'm just going to give it a summary or a post header of test. And then I'm going to paste in that same message that I used in my prompt. So let me grab that and paste that in here and then post. So I'm going to go ahead and back out. All right, now our test ran. You can see that there's two runs here because I, I ran it again right after I ran it the first time. And we're going to go into the succeeded here and take a look at the results. And if we click on the create text with GPT using a prompt and you look at the output, you can see our one sentence summary here. And then if we look at our add a row into a table, we can see what details were posted in there. And if we actually go to the file, I'll pull it over here. We can see both of the tests I ran uh, showed up in here. But you can see that it inserted the summary here provided to us by GPT and then um, who posted it, which was myself, and then today's date and timestamp.
So that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you found this useful. Just leave a comment below if you have any questions. I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.